So five years ago on YouTube, I got a comment from this guy named Arish101. And he started off his comment with a quote from none other than Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast! And it says, Minecraft is like a horrible Christian server-like game. It's cringy, ugly, and gay. But he also talked about uh, Mr. Beast some more. Specifically, he said, I feel you should make a video about Mr. Beast. I, however, like him, but some of his videos are kind of abusing, like, offensive. He doesn't like Minecraft. He makes fun of innocent YouTube channel made by some innocent little kids on YouTube. He doesn't respect people's opinions, and he doesn't even know the Go Anime community. And he kind of doesn't have common sense. So I want you to go to his channel and please make a big video about you criticizing him so big. Oh, wait, hold on. So I want you to go to his channel and please make a big video about you criticizing him so big and hard and that video will entertain me. And it might even improve your work on YouTube. And your video might even improve Mr. Beast's content. So come on, hashtag do it for your family, hashtag show off your best childish work as you are a trusted childish person. I have no idea what the fuck he's on about. <laughs> so yeah, keep in mind that comment was from 5 years ago back in 2018. And little did our Reach 101 and myself know that Mr. Beast would eventually uh, become one of the most uh, biggest content creators ever. Heck, he is probably like the biggest individual YouTuber ever. I mean, he's the most subscribed individual YouTuber, surpassing even PewDiePie himself. And he is on track to probably becoming the first YouTube billionaire. What is Mr. Beast up to right now with his content? Yeah, apparently he went from like, apparently disrespecting opinions or or making fun of Minecraft or whatever. I don't know what he's talking about because I don't really watch Mr. Beast's old videos. A lot of what he's doing these days is like uh, doing all these crazy challenges and stunts, uh, showing what a lot of money could give you. Not to mention he has his own brand of snacks called Feastables. He has his own burger chain restaurant. Thank you, Mr. Breast. But he also dedicates a lot of his uh, money and a lot of his content to philanthropy. Curing people who are blind or building wells in Africa. I mean, sure, he kind of like, uh, kind of changed the way that like people create content on YouTube. Cause now a lot of people want to imitate him and try to like piggyback off his fame. I guess all I can say is that uh, Mr. Beast, uh, he changed YouTube. That's all I can say. But he's not a piece of shit. So that's good. Yeah, he gets a thumbs up from me.